Right. Here yeah, today. Got another fence. So we're replacing this panel fence here with a picket fence. Uh, the pickets are going to be facing the neighbours. We've got permission to go into the neighbours. Um, we've got some other fencing in here as well. Chestnut, I believe. Fencing. So we're taking all, the, all of that out. We're going to be brush cutting everything down, grinding out a couple of stumps while we're here, uh, and then installing about 18 metres of four foot high picket fence with some wire mesh on the back. Um, and that should help to keep the client's rabbits in the garden. They only come out when the client's here, but we want to keep them in the garden rather than out in the wild. So I'll go and take a shot from the other side. So you can see that, that's the side we'll be working from most of the time. Yep. So, here's the fence, we're going up to about where this uh, tree is. It's 18 metres from the house there, all the way up. Much clearer on this side. That's why we'll be doing most of the work from this side. First things first, we'll get the rip out done. Right, lads are getting the materials unloaded. We've got the mesh help they for 10 did, metres. They only did yeah. 10 metres. Right, okay. Obviously I've got three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the chicken wire to keep the rabbits in. We've got all the rails, post creek, all the tools in the back of here as well. Um, all the hand tools and digging tools. There's some here, some in the back of my truck. I'm going to go and grab that in a sec and we'll, we'll get cracking. Get this out. Got through the brush cutting, not my favourite thing to brush cut, but got all the safety gear on, so we got away with that one. Yeah, so just brush cut all that, didn't take too long. And what, five minutes, you reckon? Yeah, five minutes or so. Brush cut all that, so that's all looking really good now. Allows us to rake that up, get the stuff out of the way, we can then see what we need to cut out on the other side. So I'll go around there with a chainsaw in a minute and I'll cut that stuff out and we can start ripping the fence out. Time is 10.41, we've got the whole fence out, most of the rip out done, we'll go over this with a brush cutter one more time, just to tidy it up. Now uh, we've got a slight challenge here, loads of rocks and things like that, and then a large water butt, so we're going to have to figure out a way around that, but for now I can dig a post in the floor here, and then a post up the other end for us to get our string line in, start doing the other posts. And while we're digging those, I'll have a think about how we work around that problem. So we're going to be grinding out some stumps here today. Got that one there that we've kind of just uncovered. This one here. It's pretty good size. That one. And this larger one here. So the idea is, start working on the fence and I'll send a couple of people to go and grab the stump grinder in a moment. It's really difficult to see the stump at all because there's so much ivy and other stuff growing on it. Right, two end posts are in. There's going to be a wall plate on that end. So 
we've got that bang on the same line slightly towards our client side because the rails and the pickets are going to be coming on to the neighbor's side so we've got about a two meter what is it two meter spacing ish there a bit more two three yep yep and we've got that up this end we've used a level to line up the post to make sure they are straight and now we're going to do a two meter spacing all the way up but first we're going to give this 15 20 minutes before we get the string line up because it's so cold today uh zero degrees at the moment just want to give that post creep plenty of time to go off and be nice and solid so eleven twenty seven we've got the string line up got a couple of these post holes dug as well we did give it as long as possible but we're gonna to have to move a couple of these just a few inches to get the post in and uh, the other two have gone off to get the stump grinder so they'll bring that back and then hopefully by that time we'll have the posts and rails going on and then we've got two people picketing and two people working on the stumps. Right, got all the post holes dug. Those three posts are in, that post is in. So we're all ready to go on that. And these guys are gonna get the rest of the posts in while I cut the stumps down in preparation for stump grinding. The stump grinder is on the back of the pickup at the minute. So we'll get that off and bring it in in a moment and then work on grinding these stumps at the same time as the fence, just obviously quite far away from each other. All right, all the posts are in, all the post creeks in, they're all setting, we're just washing off a couple of these where they're a little bit grubby because it's a picket fence, the clients and the neighbours will see some of this. So all going well, nice and straight, looking good. Stump grind has arrived so I'll be stump grinding in just a moment.
10 to 4. Tickets are going on very nicely. All the way through. Wires on. Tickets going on at the same sort of level all the way through. Right, I had to leave to go and do a quote. They finished up filming and the fence for me. The time is 20 to 5. They were all out of there by 5 o'clock. Really nice, uh, four foot high picket fence. We had that chicken wire on the inside to try and keep the rabbits in. Uh, I've been told the rabbits don't dig, so it should work really well. We had to change the side the pickets were on right at the end there with the cut at the neighbor's water butt and then there we've got Liam jumping over no issues with the strength of the fence all the posts are set really well everything's nice and solid really pleased that we didn't need the second day for this we had allowed a few hours the next morning just to get everything finished up and tidied up they weren't required like and subscribe <laughs>